Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for your love and support, which has enabled us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. So let's begin. Did you know that 25 to 40% of the global population identify as introverts? That makes up to 2.8 billion people world over. Even so, do you constantly feel pressured to be more extroverted and act against your nature? Introverts are still highly misunderstood and often misjudged as cold, aloof, awkward, or unfriendly by those that don't understand them. With that said, here are nine things that introverts naturally excel at over extroverts. Number one, active listening. Do you like to listen more than talk? Because of your quiet and thoughtful nature, introverts are naturally adept at active and attentive listening. You allow the other person to present their point of view, and you're more than happy to let them go on without feeling the need to interrupt them. This is because introverts tend to shy away from being the center of attention, even in conversations. Number two, keeping secrets. Is it very often that others confide in you? How easy is it for you to keep their confidences? When it comes to keeping secrets and other sensitive information, introverts are far better at it than any extrovert could ever be. Why? Because you're much less talkative and you understand the importance of a person's privacy. You are not at all interested in seeking the attention of others, especially not if it comes at the cost of another's trust. Three, introspection. Do you often find yourself analyzing your own actions and thoughts? Another area where introverts excel at is introspection and self-reflection. You spend a lot of time lost in your own rich inner world. You're more intuitive, insightful, self-aware, and highly in tune with your emotions. And this is also why introverts tend to gravitate towards hobbies like painting, photography, playing music, writing, gardening, or baking, because it allows you to be alone with your thoughts. Number four, reading emotions. Are you good at reading faces? Do you easily pick up the vibe around someone? Introverts have a natural talent for reading the emotions of others. Because of your keen observation skills and boundless empathy, you can easily tell how others are feeling just from the look on their face, the tone of their voice, or their actions. For this reason, introverts make such good nonverbal communicators because of how quickly and adeptly they can pick up on things most people wouldn't even notice. Which brings us to our next point. Five, careful observations. One of the key differences between extroverts and introverts is the way they process information. Extroverts are more externally oriented, so they process things out loud, but introverts, that's you, are more internally oriented. You often keep things to yourself and soak up as much information as you can. As a result, your critical thinking and careful observation skills are polished as you take time analyzing and understanding the people around you. Number six, deep conversations. Do you balk at the prospect of small talk? Are you always craving meaningful conversations? While extroverts may be more gifted at socializing and making small talk, introverts have mastered the art of deep conversations without even trying. You thrive in social situations where you get to discuss and debate about topics that you are truly interested in. Number seven, strategic thinking. Do you deliberate at length before replying? Are you extra cautious about warding your responses? Because most introverts don't enjoy talking too much, they often choose their words very carefully and think before they speak. And while it does take you longer to formulate a response than most people, it's only because you listen so attentively and want to make sure that your meaning is clear and concise. The same goes for your decision-making process. You strategically ponder all the possible outcomes before making a choice. Number eight, problem solving. With careful consideration and strategic thinking comes an incredible gift for problem solving that a large majority of introverts are blessed with. Imaginative and resourceful, you put your thoughtful nature to good use by looking inwards for ideas and inspiration. Whether it's a personal problem, an argument in need of compromise, or something else entirely, it won't stop you mulling over a dilemma until you've found a solution for it because you have an all the answers are within me sort of mindset. And number nine, Compassionate leadership. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, while both introverts and extroverts have the potential to be great leaders, 
It's in compassionate leadership that introverts truly shine. An introverted leader's greatest advantage is their compassion for the people they're leading. Studies show that introverted leaders are more effective at building relationships, fostering loyalty, and motivating people because of their lessened need for attention. It allows others to feel more seen for their contributions. You are also more open to listening to the ideas and suggestions of others because you tend to have a less dominant leadership style. So, do you agree with the points mentioned? Did this help you realize some good reasons why you should embrace the quiet strength that comes from being an introvert? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with fellow introverts. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.